The 2024 Paris Olympics has an official beer sponsor. Oh. That story's gonna kick off today's trending stories. Here's a look at our hot topics brought to you by Jagged Little Pill at Walton Arts Center. Anheuser-Busch will be an official sponsor for the Olympic Games, starting with the Paris 2024 summer event this year, naming its alcohol-free Corona Cero as the official beer of the Games. Now, the maker of Budweiser, Corona, and Stella Artois will be a worldwide Olympic partner, the highest level of Olympic sponsorship. Nice. The company said that alcohol-free beer is growing faster than the overall beer category, so uh, so they're sponsoring this one. Don't forget, KNWA, of course, is your home for the 2024 Paris Olympics. Our very own Alyssa Orange will be in Paris reporting back on all the action. This is very interesting. Yeah, isn't it? But, you know, I imagine it's very expensive to pull off an Olympic Games in your, <laughs> in your, in your country, in your city. So yes. as many sponsors as you can get. But I also love how Ann House of Bush is like, listen, let's jump on this trend now because right. we are seeing some people kind of um, – you know, uh, adjust their alcohol yes. consumption. So yes. we want to be safe. We want people to have fun. Let's do um, a non-alcohol. Yeah, one. Not an alcoholic like, version. I like that. Like that yeah. cool. Well, Taco Bell's newest breakfast item, not quite like the others. Take a listen. The fast food chain is launching a new cereal inspired by its cinnamon twist. Ooh. There is a catch. You won't find the cinnamon twist cereal in store or online what you have to do is taco bell has partnered with uber eats and they're collaborating on this new cereal that you see right there on your screen you'll have to order a box using uber eats uber one or through taco bell rewards so this does look good puts me in the mind frame of cinnamon toast crunch which yes. i really really love like i would eat cinnamon toast crunch without milk i used to love cinnamon twists I, I would go to taco bell just for the cinnamon twist i this is probably a smart marketing move but also i'm like give the people what they want can you make just those, put it in the store already just put it in the store i'm ready to <laughs> consume that's right i imagine if it becomes super popular that they totally well i think this may just be like a let's just kind of see how it this right goes. yeah test in the water test in the milk as they say <laughs> ew Ooh, i know <laughs> sounds sour <laughs> valentine's day is next month and if you're looking for love well it turns out busy professionals are trusting one networking site with to link them up with their perfect match a business insider report says more people are using linkedin mm. the online business networking site for dating the report cites a survey that says women often feel overwhelmed by too many dating app messages and men often feel like they don't get enough messages okay the report also went on to say People looking for dates preferred LinkedIn's platform because it's easier to avoid being duped by a fake profile or a catfisher. Huh. Date seekers are also trying out the platform because it adds a layer of credibility. I'm not gonna lie, LinkedIn is where it's at. It's a very happy place. People it's are happy. like announcing promotions and just their experiences, and it is all good. It's a really good, feel good social media platform, even if you're not looking for a job, but it's also a great way to make connections. So I can kind of see if you're making that connection professionally that you may also, on the flip side, want to make a love match as yeah. well. So um, I like that. That's interesting. Well, fans of Coachella, the wait is over the 2024 Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival lineup is here. Lana Del Rey, Doja Cat, and Tyler, the creator, are set to headline the event. The lineup also includes a reunion of Get This, No Doubt. Yes. <clears throat> it's be the first time coming back together since, I think, about 2015. So the two-weekend festival will take place in Indigo, California on April 12th to the 14th and then April 19th through the 21st. If you are looking to score tickets, pre-sales do begin this Friday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So yeah. I know a lot of people are excited about Lana excited. Del Rey. Of course, um, she said that she loved Arkansas so she much. Did. So maybe some uh, people from NWA will go up there and be like, do you remember me from um, Rogers? I would love that. And I love the No Doubt reunion. Yes. And I also had to look love at that. these dates again. So it happens on two consecutive weekend yes basically yeah yeah great stuff and speaking of music ariana grande delighted fans when she dropped the much anticipated first song off her upcoming seventh album it's called yes and is the song <laughs> a singer's first new solo release in three years the music video opens with a group of people sharing negative sentiments about grande before being swept away by her performance grande sings that she is quote so done caring what you think end quote it's a big year for grande who is set to star in the upcoming movie version of the broadway musical wicked as well i know we jammed out to this song this weekend so yeah she's having a moment uh, i think wicked is set to be big i hope it is you got to put a little bit more sass on that it's yes and yeah. Yes. Put some sass on I that. Know. I love I'm not, that. I'm not sassy. Enough. This video also just a little bit of a, a nod, I feel like, to Paula Abdul's Paula cold hearted Abdul, yeah. snake video. I'm here for it. Yes. <laughs> yes.